Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 5. Last episode, we went to the north of here, into this area over here, found an arena, and managed to kill the Black Horror. First try, actually. It was actually a very, very close, close fight. We literally almost failed. We were down to, uh, Thomas and Sherry, but somehow... We just managed to survive and get through it. It was amazing. Oh. Now, well, that behind us, it's time to hunt around other, where, other places. Let's start by heading south and southwest, the areas we skipped over before. We may as well. Is there anything over here that I had skipped out on? Um... Looks like there was. Who is over here? Alright. Yeah, what the hell. Oh! Unstable mass. Okay, fine. Of course, that was going to happen. Oh, wait. Oh. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with that thing. So, since we've explored over there, let's take a look down here, then. We may as well. And look, there's something over there. Well, before we go in there, we'll take a look at everything over the water. Because that's how I roll. Ensnared shipwrecks. Hmm. I think I saw spider webs, so. Hmm. Someone has abandoned a boat here. It's still seaworthy, but just barely. The cave wood planks at the bottom are absorbing water and warping. Soon the craft will constantly leak. Some excess gear and trash were left on the shore, but everything of value was taken away by whoever left the boat. The boat. There is one clue to who might have been here. The sun symbol of Avernum was crudely carved into the prow. Hmm. There's no... There's no secret buttons or anything here. So I don't know where the person who was there went. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look here, see what we can find. Spiders! Aranea Savants and Lurking Widows. It's gonna hurt a little a bit. But just a bit. You know what? I have a better idea. Take him. Hmm. <laughs> That doesn't do very much, surprisingly. Alright, you, Battle Frenzy. Work on taking down the Aranea. I want it dead. Ah, crap. dead. I don't want to deal with it. Damn it. All those widows. All coming for us. I have an idea. That should work. That should save us a bit. Keep summoning. And we're slowed too. Fantastic. Yeah, may as well. No, no, actually, better idea. 
There we go. That works. Now let's try and finish off the savant. And... Oh, so close! Almost got it, though. There we go. Uh, looks like that one's no longer... Oh, well. No biggie. Oh, we're all slowed. That works. Okay, the slow is gone. Well, that's done. Fortunately, another strong daze will take care of him. Beautiful. There goes that spider. Beautiful. Now get back over here so we can take care of these spiders. We definitely have this. It was a bit of a problem, but we're getting it. Well, hey. It's fine. We got it. Now this one... Yeah, weaken that one. And this one you can give a big smack to. There we go, and only one left. Alright, remove all the poison, fireball, and dead. Perfect! Well, that went relatively well. And nothing we really need here. Some coins, an energy potion, group heal, lovely crystal, and some coins. So nothing special here. Alright. Alright, so let's move on, take a look down here, see what we can find. This shit rack is wrapped in webs and paralyzed by powerful venom. It hangs there, waiting for the inevitable end. It's impossible to miss the huge spider webs that line this passage. You keep your weapon ready, expecting vicious arachnids and Aranea to lurch out at you at any moment. Then you hear a sound in the darkness ahead. Your monks in the underworld must be playing tricks with your head, but you would swear that someone just said, Eek! Then you hear many feet shuffling over the stone floor, fleeing from you. Ooh, I know it's coming! <laughs> One of the chit racks was too hardy to be fully affected by the spider's venom. As you walk down the passage, it manages to tear its way loose. Well, time to kill this spider. Uh, not spider, chit rack. Won't be hard. What's that? Ah, damn. Okay, big smack. Ah, come on! Fa. There goes that. And almost. There we go. Perfect. I don't know why I'm carrying all these chitrack claws. We don't really need them. But eh. Here we are. You climb into a series of spider-infested caverns. Enormous arachnids are everywhere. They are making webs, building up ch binding up chitracks, watching over their young, and, oddly enough, talking. Not just talking, chatting. They have bright, cheery, high-pitched voices, and they are talking to each other about the weather, which never changes, the caves, too damp, and the bugs they plan to hunt. 
Then they see you. There is a good deal of squealing, running around, and general panic. Baby spiders are swept off to safety, and warrior spiders bear remarkably large fangs at you. They also call you names. Then they realize that you aren't attacking. You can't. You're too stunned. They soon lose interest in maintaining the defensive line and wander off. You have heard of these creatures. Some of the veterans of the Valorum campaigns have claimed to encounter them, though their tales were generally met with jeering and disbelief. But they were telling the truth. And now you have met the giant, intelligent, friendly, talking spiders. Yay! <laughs> This is a baby spider about the size of a small dog. It can't talk yet. All it can do is make high-pitched, irritating chirps. It also occasionally tries to sink its fangs into your boot. When none of the spiders are looking, you kick it away. This is the only spider you have met who is less than entirely friendly to you. She is constantly trying to stay between you and the baby spiders she is watching. They seem to be constantly trying to jump on her and take bites out of her. You aren't sure why she is trying so hard to protect them. Must be an instinct thing. Hi, I'm Spider! These are the babies! Ouch! She swats a particularly aggressive baby spider away with a foreleg. Don't hurt the babies and we will get along fine, cutie! You protect the baby spiders? Yes, it is my job! Other spiders hunt! Some build webs! Some fight! I look after the- Ouch! Stop that, Spider! And that goes for you too, Spider! Don't you look at me like that, Spider, or I'll make you sit in the corner with Spider! Ah, uh, yes, it's my job. They're all named Spider? Of course! What else would they be named? They're spiders, aren't they? Doesn't it make it hard to shout at one specific one of them? Of course not! They all know what their names are! Can't argue with that logic. Seems like a tough job. How can you say that? You must be mean! They were all so cute and good! Ouch! Stop that! Right. The maternal spider, Spider, is trying to corral the baby spiders and keep them safe. The babies alternate between crying, hunting small bugs, and trying to bite Spider. The chaotic scene is a good argument against having babies. Or, at least having spider babies. Why are they trying to bite you? I, it is the way baby spiders are. It is their instinct to try to eat a mother spider for food. I just have to take care of them until their brains get smart and they realize they don't want to do that. Dumb tiny spiders don't all stick together like we do. That's horrible. Oh, how can you say something so mean? They're cute little babies. Sure. And what do tiny spiders do? Tiny spiders eat each other. They like to live alone. We're not like that. Well, we big ones aren't, but the babies are. Spider, don't you dare! Ouch! Uh, probably gonna regret this, but anything I can do to help? Just be careful not to step on them. They are very delicate and special. Sure. Let's get out of here before they try to bite us again. You chat with the spider a bit. It tells you how cute you are. It tries to give you a hug with its pedipalps. It offers to show you its web. It stands uncomfortably close to you. Eventually, you manage to extricate yourself from the awkward situation. This spider is behaving very oddly. She seems to be walking around and then forcing herself to stumble. She dives f toward the ground and then suddenly rights herself and then repeats the process. Then you realize what she is trying to do. She is practicing bowing. She notices that you're watching her. Hi, hey, my name is Spider. You're cute. Nice weather we're having. Uh, why are you bowing? Because of the dragon. The mighty dragon only lets people here live around here who give it tribute it. When it wants things, we want to be able to bow and stuff so we can see how scared we are and we won't and it won't burn us up. You give tribute to a dragon? We're supposed to, but the chief spider said that right now all the tribute he wants is for us to stay away. But I'm sure he will get lonely and want to talk to us soon. And then I will be ready. Sure. Uh, can I see a practice bow? The spider lurches forward and bumps its forehead against the floor. Oh, mighty Melanchion, master of the isles, lord of dragonkind, immortal creature of power and wisdom, please don't step on me! Pretty good, huh? Well, for a spider, I suppose it's 
Not that bad. Are dragons cute? No, they're scary! <gasps> Please don't tell the dragon I said that! Oh, I'm so scared now! Don't worry, we won't say anything like that. The bowing spider chats with you happily um, about atmospheric conditions in the caves. She also does little stretching exercises to keep her eight legs limber. You think I'm cute? Sure! We spiders think all of you peoples are cute! All tall and fleshy and with hair and things on your heads! So adorable! We just can't help ourselves! Well, um... There are people who think spiders are cute! From a certain angle. At a certain distance. And only one of them. And probably not crawling on their arm. You, you get the idea. What is cuter? Male people or female people? Why is this a question? <laughs> she looks confused for a moment. You mean there are boy humans and girl humans? Like spiders have? Wow, that's really neat! I can't wait to tell people about it! So, what the hell did you think... Never... Did you think they were egg sacs or something? I just... Forget it. I, I, I shouldn't read too much into this. So how is the weather? She looks around and thinks about it a bit. Same as it is all the time, but we can still talk about it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. You're a weird one. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, here's another three spiders. Uh, nothing but awkward there. This spider is jumping around and waving her forelegs. Occasionally it shouts something like ZAP or KAPOW! It's rather strange. Sometimes she grabs a length of cave wood and waves it around. Eventually you clear your throat to get the creature's attention. She ceases her bouncing and says, Oh, hi! Sorry, I didn't see you. I was working on my magic. I'm Spider. How are you? So, what are you doing? I'm trying to make myself into an Aranea! I wish I was an Aranea! And you think jumping around will do the job? Well, Aranea's are spiders that can do magic, right? So if I'm a spider that can do magic, I'll be closer to being one of them! That's what we spiders call logic! Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't you have to be born in Aranea? That's what some spiders think. Araneas are hideous mutant spiders and born mean and magical. Maybe if I can become an Aranea my own way, I won't be all twisted and bad! Can't argue with that. Why do you want to be an Aranea? So I can use powerful magics to protect all the spiders from the bad people who always kick us out of our homes. Without magic, all I have is these. She bears her fangs. They are enormous, sharp, and dripping with venom. She should be content with them. I would agree, but the Aranea who do throw magic are a bit more dangerous in some ways. So I can't understand the reason. Then again, they are more friendly. Spider has already resumed her bouncing about and making odd sounds. She occasionally grabs one of the lengths of cave wood she has scattered around the floor and jabs at it at empty air. What are their sticks for? They're wands! Really? Well, no. But I can practice with them until I get my real wand. Watch this! She points a stick at you and says, Pew! Pew! Boy, if that was a real wand, you'd be in real trouble now. Yeah, I suppose. I mean... I don't know how many mages really run around with wands, pointing them about and going pew pew, but it does sound fun. Sherry, didn't I see you doing that uh, back a while ago when you were actually using a wand? Nah. Can you teach me any magic? Dare I ask? Um, sure. Uh, jump in the air. Okay, jump into the air. Now go, zap! Real loud! Kerr zap. Louder! Kerr zap! Good! Now all you have to do is, when you make that noise, make lightning come out! That's kind of the hard part. If you figure it out, tell me about it! 
Yeah, I suppose it makes sense that this is what the... I... I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. I have a feeling that's probably the one in charge, so let's look elsewhere. No, that's the one in charge. This is about the only spider who is not running and jumping around. He sits calmly in the far end of this cave, surrounded by a remarkable collection of junk. Step right up! I'm Spider and this is my store! Excellent selection! Our prices can't be beat! Shop, shop! Alright, I'll buy something. Uh... Well, the elixirs are nice. Most of it is not anything we need, but the elixirs are nice things to be able it really? That cheap? Huh. Eh, what the hell. Grab the elixirs. Well, the energy elixirs. I think we're fine without the healing ones. Can I sell you something? No, silly, I don't have any money! But... But we just gave you... Don't you mean to say that your prices can't be beat? You are silly. If my prices couldn't be beat, that would mean that they are strong. My prices are not strong. They are little and weak. You can beat them. You are a mighty warrior, but you do not know about business. Okay. Do many spiders run shops? No, I am the first. That makes me a hero in a way. It is hard, though. The only things I have to sell are things humans dropped. I look on the islands for the things. It is hard work. How do you get to the other islands? Do you swim? We do not have to swim. We can walk on ceilings! Hehe, <laughs> you're silly. You know what? That 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 well that one's on me. They 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 can do that. They don't have to swim. Have you seen many humans travel through here? Yes. Most of them are like you though, with a darker skin and a few of them with a thingy on your chest. He points at the insignia on your chest. Once there was a bunch of cave people, the ones with the really pale skin. They went by in some boats. They looked very hungry and sad. Those were the only cave people we saw. Can you tell me anything else about the humans that passed through? Well, they were all cute, but you probably guessed that. Yeah, I, I kind of did. Alright, just a few more here. Awkward spider. Suddenly, a spider comes barreling out of the shadows at you. It screams, hee As you start to draw your blade, it skids to a stop and goes, Wow, that was a good one, huh? Boy, I bet you were scared. I'm Spider. I'm a guard spider. Yeah, of course. How do you fight your enemies? Well, that's a good question. You're really smart. What I do is take these. It bears a pair of long, vicious fangs. Then I stick them into the bad thing. And then it falls over. Are your fangs poisonous? Oh, sure. Boy, it would sure be embarrassing if I stuck my fangs into someone and there wasn't any poison there, huh? Probably, I suppose. What if something isn't affected by poison? Then I run up on the ceiling and hide. Well, when all you have is a hammer and the hammer doesn't work, I suppose that's all you can really do. Do the Avernites try to squish you? Yeah, not as fast as service people do, but they're scared of spiders. How silly! Why be scared of spiders? We're so neat! Well, considering the Aranea tend to try to kill on sight... <laughs> Anything else to say? I want to go on my patrol for bad things! Who do you defend this lair against? Anyone bad. Bad people are always coming and trying to squish us and scare us away. If anyone bad comes now, we'll have to fight them. We're running out of places to run to. Eesh. Yeah, now that I think about it, they have kind of run from everywhere. They've run to three different places in Avernum. They've run to the surface, which... I, I don't know what... It's the Empire there. And now they've run here. Where the hell else are they gonna go? Do you hunt for food, too? Everyone hunts for food whenever we can. What do you eat? Bugs! Tasty, yummy bugs! Flies and nuts and ants and bees and grasshoppers and giant mutant caterpillars! And chitrax? Oh, sure! Nothing better than a big, juicy, helpless chitrack! But they're dangerous and hard to hunt. We've got to be real careful hunting chitrax. 
That's why Ammonites are dumb to scare us away. They should have us eat their chip racks. Then everyone is happy! Except the chip racks. Oh, sure, the chip racks are sad, but who cares? Okay. And I think you're the one in charge here. This spider is larger and older than the others. He has several bald patches, and the long hairs that remain are mostly gray. The end of one of his legs is missing. And yet he maintains a certain noisy dignity. When you face him, he chirps. Hi, I'm Spider. I am the chief here, leader of our proud bug-eating people. I brought us here. I hope you are friendly. If not, we will eat you. No offense. Tell me about your colony. There are not many of us. He turns and starts indicating the other spiders with a pedipalp. There are one, two, two. Uh, there are a lot of us, and there will be more. We finally have a cave of our own. Melanchion gave it to us. Isn't it neat? Melanchion gave it? Melanchion is the mighty dragon. We are safe from him because he says he doesn't like to eat spiders. So we give him tribute to him and he lets us have caves to grow. Human people say dragons are bad, but we like Melanchion. He is neat. Well, I can't argue about that, really. I mean, Melanchion's not bad. A bit greedy, but he has high hopes. And also a bit naive, but still high hopes. What sort of tribute do you give? Um, none yet. Melanchion says it is tribute enough if we never talk to him. He must be joking. Dragons are so funny. Sure. What else do you want to know, cutie? Sometimes people are not mean to us and we like them. Uh, you're making more spiders? Yes, many spiders! As fast as we can! Then when all of the caves here are full, we will expand back to the upper caves! And then back to the surface! The people drove us away before because they did not realize how nice we are. This time, we will explain to them why they should not be afraid of spiders, and they will be friends with us! I'm sure of it! High hopes, spider. High hopes. Where did you come from? I led the many sad spiders from the surface of, to the caves, and then from the caves to the lower caves. It is a tale of sadness. Always the people are scared and try to squish us. We came down here finally after a bad, mean wizard found us and tried to do experimenting on us. Isn't that bad? We got away from him, though. Now we have a happy place. Well... We didn't tell the wizard about them, but he found out about them anyway. You lived on the surface? We did! We wish we still lived there. That is where there are the most nice, tasty bugs. Weak bugs that you don't have to wrestle. Not like the horrible bugs down here. But we have to hide down here. The humans up there hunt us. Tell me about the wizard that hunted you. His name was Gladwell. He was very, very bad. If an adventurer hadn't warned us about him, he might have caught us and made us into little soups. He is a terrible person. I hope he falls and hits his head. I've met Gladwell. Spider jumps five feet in the air. Yank! Is he near here? Do we have to run again? Is he coming for us? Ah! Ah! Eventually you are able to reassure the spider that Gladwell isn't coming. He is relieved. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have mentioned it to him. Are people normally mean to you? Oh, yes. Very many people. Humans don't like spiders. Nephilim don't like spiders. Sliffs don't like us either. What did we ever do to them? It's very sad. There have been some humans who were nice, though, like adventurers. Sometimes adventurers do nice things for us. He looks at you pointedly. Well, the gifts do usually give us gifts. Maybe I can help you? Oh, really? I hoped you would. We do need help from a person. We need some advice. Advice? Yeah, there's an island that way. He points to the north. It's full of chit racks. Big, yummy chit racks. So we caught them. We trapped them in there with lots of webs so we could eat them all. Yum! But when we go hunt, we were hunting, there was one of them that talked to us. Talked, like us. We've met other bugs who could do this, but never a chit rack. We told her we were going to eat to it eat, and it said we shouldn't, and we didn't. Go on. So we're all confused now. It is all nice and friendly, but it's a chit rack. So we want you to go and talk to it and tell us what you think we should do with it. You're all impartial as you don't eat chit racks. I don't think. We'll clear the webs away so you can get in there. 
Meet the nice train wreck and tell us what you think. Yay! <sighs> talking spiders, talking roaches, now talking shit racks. Is the world just heading to a world that is completely... Oh, well, we've got mammals that talk, lizards that talk, and now we've got insects that talk. The only things missing are fish and birds that talk. Ah, <sighs> well... We'll go see this talking shit rack in the next episode, I think, because this one's gone on long enough. And I don't know how much we'll be going through that place. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Darren, Thomas, Lena, and Sherry. This has been an Avernum 5 Let's Play with the glory that is the giant, intelligent, friendly talking spiders. And I shall see you all next time.